Hello YouTube and welcome back to Allie's Wonderland Creations. I am Alice Serafin and I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the United States. Welcome to my channel everybody. So can you believe it? We are one away from 30 alternative videos from one kit. A lot of other little stuff added in but that's why we stamp, right? <coughs> if you're a paper crafter you have lots of stuff to use. So let's use it. So let me go through this again. Paper Pumpkin Alternative Video Number 29, January 2024's kit called Lovely Lavender. And it is fabulous. And I've got a lot of people out there making comments that they love purple, I think, just as much as I do. Yes, you can tell purple is my favorite color. Um, it's kind of funny. I have an amethyst ring, but it slips off my, my hand. I have to get it sized up because it won't. It won't fit any other one but my pinky, but it falls off. I'll have to show it to you guys sometimes. I got a need to take it in and have it sized so I can wear it like right here. My husband got it for me for our anniversary. It was, I loved it. So, Lovely Lavender, you got four. This one, this one, and this one. And turn over the QR code to make other projects. A visual of everything in the kit and, of course, the coordinating colors. We're going to set that aside. The stamp set looked like this. We are only going to use this one. I put some of them away. By now, you guys know I'm kind of done with the Valentine's things, but it doesn't mean I don't love my kit. I do. And um, let's bring in what I am bringing in. I'm going to use Just Wanted to Say from Country Bouquet. I'm going to use Thinking of You This Easter. Just wanted to say, thinking of you this Easter, if that's going on the inside of the card. And then, woohoo, this guy is, is always going to be a keeper. This is, I love this one. And I saw that there was another one that had wreaths in it. And I'm like, oh, do I buy another? I think it's an online exclusive. Anyways, we're going to be using this one right here. Now, let's go into what um, we are... I'm not zoomed in like I wanted to be. Oh, well, we're just going to have to roll with it. Let's get out all the goodies out of the envelope. This is my last envelope. We're going to use it as an envelope as I have so many cards. But you guys, if I cut this up, I could go even farther. Oh, it's kind of crazy. So I am like over the moon ecstatic. And we hit 1,400 subscribers. Thank you to everybody. So let's go here card base five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter we have of course our envelope um our layer number one which i didn't even write the one there um one half of the card base kit cut to four by five and a quarter that's this piece now when i cut it off i got two pieces a four and a quarter piece and a five and a half piece one quarter by five and a quarter. We're going to keep this piece for the inside. The inside then is four by five and a quarter in white. We have the last remaining large square and I have this gorgeous wreath that my Aunt Carol gave me. So we're going to use that because it has a lavender look to it. Um, the two, these are a possibility. I have these two extra small white butterflies from the Brilliant Wings dies. Um, one by four, same color as the card base, and there's a piece missing. Come on. It's here somewhere. It has to be because I just had it. Oh, it fell out over there. So I have this little bit, three quarters of an inch by three and a quarter. It was white. I stamped it with that blobby image from the June 2021's Paper Pumpkin Kit. So this was a scrap piece left. I'm going to keep it. Um, so I already told you what else we were using. So let's get on with this card. This is meant to be a simple, easy card. Stamp and pierce mat is needed. Extra bit of scrap paper. I'm debating whether I want to go full. I think we're going to go full strength. So I'm not going to be doing any stamping off on that. So let's stamp. Just wanted to say we're going with gorgeous grape, of course. Gorgeous color. <laughs> so was lovely lilac. So we're going to do a test. Oh, 
looks great. We want to stamp it in the middle, hopefully. Ta-da! And then this little one is from, where is that from? Oh, yes. I'm going to have to put this in the notes. This is from Heartfelt Hexagons, that little flower. I'm really liking this, so we're going to go ahead. We don't need all of it. We're going to put a little there and a little there. And then, of course, from the kit, we don't need all of it. Just a little bit. Stamp off twice. Oh, you can't even see that. So stamp off once and try that again. I don't even know if you can really see that, but we're going to go with it. Okay, there we have it. That is our sentiment strip done. Now we have our wee little butterflies. So my idea <laughs> was... Okay, this is my wreath. I want to give the butterflies a little color. Oh, I do like it. So stamp off twice. These are just white. These were from the Brilliant Wings. Any little butterflies you have. We do have butterflies that are already cut out and everything on page 23 of the mini current catalog. Um, I do know that because I've showed that to you guys before. So we're going to come in here, stamp off once and do some more oh i do like that except this little piece is missing so we stamped off once that little bit of his wing needed something so we're just stamping off once and hopefully i've got two little purple butterflies well done we're going to set those over there, this over there. Now for this, we are going to stamp. Oh, I'm going to stamp once. We are going to do a test. So I'm going to stamp full strength. I like the full strength. I might have to stamp and then do it a little off center to get it as full as I want it. So let's just do full strength. In the center, this is going to be gorgeous. Oh, yes. See, I'm not even sure if I need this little wreath. Oh, maybe not. This is so pretty just the way it is. I could do a totally flat card. I need that little post-it note dealy. We need one of those. Even though this one gets ink all over me. <coughs> We're going to add little flowers. Mm -hmm. I think we're going to make this fuller with this stamp. We are. We're going to add this in there. So that one away, we're going to stamp off once. I'm not sure how I'm going to actually get this done, but we are going to try our best. Make this wreath a little fuller. I do like that. So now we have to change positions. Stamp off. I'm gonna go a little bit this way. I don't want to cover up the middle totally. That's working. Looks like we need a little extra right here on the outside. So let's do that. I'm gonna add this here. I want to bring some like right there. Yes. We're just filling out our wreath a little bit more. And this one has to go up here. Let's see. Stamp off really well. I guess we're going to fill it in all the way, the way it's looking. That's okay. 
I didn't, it's still, oh, see, we need a little, just breathe on it. We need some like right on the outside. Okay. I'd have to put something in the middle. I don't have another one of these squares to redo this, so we're going to have to Oh, guess what? Okay. I don't like what I just did, so we're going to flip it over. I'm going to stamp this in the center. We're going to take this one. We're going to do our own border now. Stamp off. We're just using the edge of it because I messed up and I only have the one. So we're just going to have to make do. With what we have, we're just making our own border detail. There's my little post-it note. All right, now we're gonna bring this one in. This is from the Heartfelt Hexagons. We're gonna add it full strength in all the corners. Should have held that down longer. It makes it darker. This one won't be down so long. All right. Now what do I do? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Do I? Oh, I'm gonna add another one. Not all the way. Just like right there. Right there. I'm trying to think. What am I gonna stick on the wreath now that I'm not gonna use that other wreath that my aunt gave me? I thought it would look so well together and it probably would just not. Let's take a look at what we got because I'm kind of like frazzled at what I can do. So there's our border. We are definitely going to add a bit of the ink pad to the edges to deepen them, make it stand out a little. You could do a sponge dauber. I'm not getting one out. I'm using what's right in front of me for this card. And when you set it down, you see that nice dark trim. And what do we have? The yellow is not going to do it for me. Just not going to do it. But, oh, we could put that big daisy right in the center. That is going to work. Let's just do that right now. We're going to put that big white daisy just like that and just like that the card is good huh. who would have known this however will go on something else okay so we have all of that and then we're gonna do our little butterflies I like them being white they tie in with that do I want to do any more stamping yeah I do <laughs> you, did you guys guess I, I do because I I I couldn't have known this, but let's do the little bitty bitty backgrounds. So we're going to stamp off once and then stamp a whole bunch. Stamp off once and stamp a few more times. Stamp off once and go back up the card. Oh, we got all the way that time. Stamp off once. Let's go down the card. One, two, three, four, five and a half. Stamp off once and go back up the card. Yes! And I think... I think we're going to splotch this too around the edges. Oh, yes. Who knew? Nope, didn't know. Okay, so let's put the front of the card together. Ha! Huh. And I took off that nasty cover of the Tombow glue. Now my little dog comes out here. I'm freezing. I, I came out here like at 6 o'clock, turned the heater on, 
went and charged my back, made breakfast, did laundry, cleaned up, did dishes, blah, 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 all that lovely stuff that needs to be done in the house. So I came out here. The sun is shining, though it is cold. So give me a second because I'm going to shut the door now. But my little TV loves to lounge in the spot on the back porch. Mm -hmm. I'm going to turn that heater on now because I'm freezing, Tia. Um, <laughs> she loves to lounge out there. Do we want to raise this up? I don't... Yeah, we do, huh? It needs it. Um, anyways, she loves to lounge out there, so <clears throat> I let her lounge, and I left my back, turned off the heater, and left the door open so that whenever she wanted back in, um, she could come in instead of her barking like the crazy dog she can be. And, of course, she comes in, and she gets in her little donut dog bed, and she's just shivering. So that's what I'm, I'm dealing with right now. She's like, okay, I'm ready for the heat now. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen any of my... I, I do have an Instagram now and a... Anyways, my Facebook. I posted a picture of my little dog. And I have these tower heaters that we use because I don't like the central air. My husband disconnected it, which was a great thing. Anyways, um... My little dog literally is this close to the heater. And she does it all the time. It's nothing new. Oops, my littlest butterfly won't fur right on the floor. So, I'm surprised. I won't be surprised, I should say, that she'll go over there in just a minute and sit in front of the heater. So, we want that straight. Ooh, those little speckles did add so much. So, this is going to go... Yeah, I want that up too. I want that on dimensionals too. So three more. Well, I still have to stamp the inside. It's going to be quite simple. We're still working on the greenhouse. My husband was out there rototilling, though I don't know why he would do that. And the wee little butterfly I had is now missing. It's in my A, so we're going to go with the other one. We're just going to do the one right here, like so. So put a little blobber of glue right there. Don't necessarily need to, but we do need that one. wonder if I need to stick a wee little mini right under the butt. Of the butterfly. There. Oops. Okay, you gotta come farther off the card then. There we go. Oh, that's simple. It's sweet. Do we add? What do I have? I know I left some kind of gemstones out. I mean, it's gonna cost me any way I go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Maybe we'll just want to do one, two. I wonder if a large one would fit and stay in the center. Yeah, it'll stay there. So it's going to go there. And then these two are going to go right here and right there. These, of course, are the iridescent rhinestone basic jewels. I cut the top off because that way it's easier for me getting them in and out. So let's find the inside piece. Nope. Yes. All right. Here's my inside piece. My post-it note I'll stick down there. And we're going to do, of course thinking of you this Easter. Now we have that quarter inch strip to go there. So I'm going to put this right here off to the side a bit and I do not like that at all. So we're going to turn it over and start again. And we're going to add some little speckly bits right down here. And then we're going to add some of this One in the center, 
And then I'm gonna come in with the heartfelt hexagon flower and do one there and one here. That one's lighter. It's okay. Let's just leave that. It's good. Now where's my little strip? Let's add our glue. And I'm going to tip it this way so it's right up on the edge. Cut off the excess. Now we're going to stamp Happy Easter. This time we're going to make sure it's walk it all over there. I want good, good, good inking. And I'm going to stick it right here. Give it a minute because I really want it nice and dark much better okay so we're going to glue this to the inside of the card now i just have one big yellow flower that i gotta find a use for not sure what to do with the yellow one but i'm sure i will find a use for it all right so card is almost done. We have our envelope and yes, you know what we're doing, right? Mm -hmm. We're going to stamp everything that we just stamped. <laughs> just a little bit of it all. So we want this here and we want it over here. I mean, this just really ties your whole project together. Um, it, it just does. So we're going to put, just wanted to say, because that's also on our cover. Now I'm going to add one of these flowers. Um, I'm going to add it right there. And then here, there we have it. So our envelope is done. Let me close this up and we'll show you the card. And that did not take too long, even with the mess up. So there we have it, that great big flower in the center of the wreath. Happy Easter. I think it's lovely. I love all the little speckles. Oh, that finishes all the purple for my kit, I think. Uh, that's a sad thing. Sad, sad, sad thing. I mean, you could have added a piece of ribbon. Very simple card. Easy to do. Um, if you don't have a little butterfly, that's okay too. Um, if you don't have one of these left, you could do a square. It, it's simple. You could do a circle, just really easy stuff. So thanks for watching everybody. And I, I know I say this every video, but it, it does mean a lot to me if you would consider subscribing if you haven't already. Um, a thumbs up, a like, or a share would be fantastic. But more than that, um, your comments. I know it takes time to comment and I, I am just astounded by all of the kindness that I receive and it brightens my day. It does mean so much to me. So thank you for, if you have time for leaving me a comment and letting me know what you think. So please come back and visit me in my wonderland. Bye-bye for now.